How's it guys? Uh, welcome to Ultimate Exotics. Today we've got um, a ball python clutch here and the eggs are ready to cut. So we thought we'd do this video just to show you how we cut the eggs and explain a bit um, about why we cut them. So with the ball pythons, uh, we incubate the eggs at about 31 degrees and at that temperature they can take about between 62 to 65 days to hatch. What we do is we wait for the first egg to pimp out of the clutch. Once that first egg has pipped, we then cut the eggs. And the reason why we cut the eggs is just to give the best chance of all the babies to, to get out of the eggs. Because sometimes you can have a baby that's developed full term that's dead in the egg. And that's what we try to avoid. Yes. Um, show you a few things that we use um, when we have to cut the eggs open. This is our egg hatching kit. Um, it's got a lot of cool things, um, but the things that we mainly use in here is a sharp pair of scissors and then the tweezers. And uh, another important thing that you have to have is a good disinfectant. Uh, we use this F10 aerosol disinfectant and we disinfect the scissors, the tweezers and our hands um, just to avoid any bacterial infection when we're cutting the eggs. Okay guys, before we get down to cutting the eggs, let me tell you a little bit about the parents. The female, she's an ice pink entry and the male, he's a two gena. He's an orange dream yellow belly. Um, now all these genes, they are, are dominant and co-dominant genes, so you can get super forms. So we're hoping to try and get just uh, the, the ideal situation would be orange dream yellow belly and So let's hope we get that. That's the ball path we want to see. Okay guys, now we're going to just do the disinfecting before we cut the eggs. So we're going to do the scissors first and our hands. And that's what's so nice about the aerosol spray. You can just apply it quickly. It evaporates and just use a tissue to wipe it off before you cut the eggs. So everything's disinfected. Okay, guys, so we're ready to cut the eggs. Um, you can see the two eggs that have pipped here. Um, it's this one here. You can see those marks there where they've cut it with their egg tooth. The baby's cut the egg with its egg tooth. And this one over here, which has also just started pipping. And now that's our signal now to cut the clutch, to now give the, the babies the best opportunity to hatch and all come out the egg. So let us begin. I'm going to start with the ones that have just started cutting. Let's start with this one here. So you just got to be a bit careful. You don't want to go too deep. And you just go in small, small cuts along the egg. Sometimes you might see a little bit of blood and that's okay. A little bit of blood and clear liquid. And that's not a problem. That's just the veins on the egg. And you just want to lift the egg up with the point of the tweezers and then cut. And what we do, we're going to cut down here. And then we're going to cut along here to make a V and that will give us a window just to look inside and then also just make it nice and easy for that baby to pop its head out and come out the egg when it's ready, when it's absorbed all its yolk. And that to me looks like an orange dream. You can see the orange on the side there. Maybe it's got some yellow belly, time will tell, it's a little bit too soon. I think that's orange cream. Okay, let's now come around, just cut this one here. You can see I put the, scissor, the tip of the scissors in, then lift the egg up and then snip. And that's just to keep the sharp point of the scissors just away from the, the snake inside. Okay, I think that's enough. Let's see. Let me. Oh, that is beautiful and now to me that could be the three gene that we'll be looking for because very clean so that's got enchi in it so you see the sides it's got enchi orange stream and yellow belly i think that could be the three gene we'll do a video a little bit later on just to oh yeah here you can see the see as we cut that egg that little guy's ready to come out he's already poking his head out So it won't be long and he'll be out. Okay, let's cut this next egg. And as you can see, this egg is quite dented in here. Now that's a normal sign um, at this stage of the development. Um, when the eggs are first laid, they're nice and round and plump. And then through the incubation, they start to um, lose a bit of moisture and the baby start to absorb the yolk, which causes this denting in. So this is a good sign that these eggs are now ready to, to hatch and the babies are fully developed and ready to come out. Okay, let's start cutting this egg. I'm just going to use this point here. And let's cut down here. Okay. 
Okay, and that to me that's definitely got Enchi in it. And hopefully some orange dream as well, because that back pattern is quite broken. So let's hope. Okay guys, we've cut the last three eggs of the clutch. Let's have a look what we think might be inside. This one here is again nice and orange and it's um, got a reduced pattern. So we think that's a orange, uh, orange dream enchi. This one here looks like it could just be a straight orange dream. And then the last one here looks like another orange dream enchi. And hopefully they also got yellow belly in. So it's a, it's a good clutch for us. Some good results there, good odds. Okay guys, so we finished cutting all the eggs, we're going to pop them back in the incubator and um, hopefully after about a day or two, all the babies should come out and then we'll do a follow up video to show you the, the full clutch once they're all out. So thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and um, we hope to do a lot more of these videos for you.